Ladies uh, and gentlemen, hello and welcome to 60 Seconds. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato, and this is a post-apocalyptic nightmare scenario nuclear game, I guess? Nuclear survival game, perhaps? Well, it is obviously about survival. I've just done the tutorial, I know what I'm doing, roughly, roughly, and, uh, and it's not... It's not looking good, to be honest, folks. Alright, so we can go for, uh, for Fat Man, for normal, I guess, which means that we've got a whole bunch of this stuff, and I'll sort of explain it as we go on through the game, which is kind of nice. Uh, so, first things first. We need to make sure that we have all of the supplies for when the nuke actually hits. So, we need to go and have a little look around. Got a little bit of exploration time. I uh, need to suss out where all of the members of my family are. Alright. Alright, shit. Okay, now we need to grab all of the stuff that we possibly can. Shit. And then uh, we need to drop it in the in the bunker area. Alright. Because some people are really fat, oftentimes we uh, we can't can't carry more than four things at one time. That's fine. We're doing okay. Got about 30 seconds left. I'm on a soup crusade, baby. I'm finding soup. I'm finding water. That is real nice. Okay. Gun. Wife. Wife. Gun. To the shelter. To the shelter. We need a radio. Can we get a radio together? Oh, shit. Come on. Take all of this. Take all of this. I would love a radio. I would love a radio if we can. Uh... Med kit, that'll do. I don't know what this is. I'll take it. That, I'll take that too. To the shelter. To the shelter. No! Did we not get to the shelter? Are you shitting me? Fuck. Alright, I shouldn't have been so greedy. I shouldn't have been so greedy. That was, uh, that was kind of stupid. Alright, well, there we go. Didn't even, didn't even fucking make it to the shelter. But you know what? We managed to get our family members to the shelter, which is kind of nice, I suppose. It was kind of sacrificial, I guess, but hey-ho, that was the first part of the game. Um, I kind of fucked up. Uh, should have gotten to the shelter area sooner, rather than being greedy and trying to pick up as much as you can. But that's the balance that you sort of have to strike. But hey-ho, we're, <laughs> we're off to a cracking great start, ladies and gents. All right, let's check our, uh, our journal and see what is hip and happening. Oh, we perished. Oh, do we not even get a chance to continue? Oh, well, shit. There you go. That's the first stage of, uh, that's the first stage of the game. The second stage of the game involves surviving in your bunker in, uh, in sort of a, an interesting, interesting little scenario. You get presented with daily challenges and stuff, and it's really, really cool. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna manage. Today, we're gonna manage. Today is gonna be the best day. The best day that we've ever seen. Have faith, folks. All right, so we get a little bit of exploration time. Find the daughter. Where's the kid? Where, Timmy? Timmy, where are you? Wife, you're here. Good wife. Wife, that's good. Timmy, oh, you're right here. I like you best, Timmy. Okay, let's pick up the axe and that. Oh, a gas mask. I'll take a gas mask. Yes, please. Daughter, come with me. You are a big girl. You have, you're consuming a lot of space in my inventory. I'll tell you that for free. Take the rifle. Alright. That's good. Let's get soup. Soup. We need some water as well. I'll just go back here. Chuck that in there. Get water. Water. Come on. Water. Get out of the way. To the shelter. To the shelter. To the shelter. Can we grab one more bit of... One more bit of food. Two more bits of food. Alright, so, not a hugely successful... And grab that. Pencils. Or whatever. Let's get in here, get in here, get in here. There we go, get in! The nuke goes off around us. Boom! Getting achievements like there's no tomorrow as well. Sweet cheeves, people. Sweet cheeves. Alright, we actually made it this time, which is kind of impressive. It's worth noting that we don't actually have to get our family, right? We could just not get our family. Which is, uh, which is kind of possible. 
We managed to get ourselves a gas mask, a little bit of soup, some bullets, which is kind of nice, or ammo, whatever, an axe, um, a map, which is kind of cool, a rifle, and we've got Ted, Dolores, Timmy, and of course, Mary Jane. Classic American 1960s names, I guess. Day one. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're together, we can make it work down here. That is a very optimistic viewpoint. I like that. Remember, hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Well, you know what? I don't think it is, but I'm sure, I'm sure that'll make a difference. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from the cans. We'll sleep on the cans. We'll even talk to the cans. Some of us already do. Well, that's fucking insane. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. I think this is a good amount of supplies, to be honest. I don't think we can uh, we can complain. So, basically, uh, food. Food for one day is one can, right? So, if you allocate one can, it gives a quarter of each can to each member of the family. And that's great. So, we've got six plus two, so we've got eight cans at the moment. And water as well uh, is a case of... Uh, it's one bottle of water for one day for everybody. So that's kind of cool. I don't think we're going to feed anybody today or give them water. We'll just go to the next day. It's difficult to keep our spirits high in this situation. Uh, we do hope this mess will be over soon. You know what? I, I hope it is over soon too. But for now, we're just going to have to go forward. And now, events will start to happen. We'll start to get a couple of uh, interesting stuff, interesting things uh, begin to happen. So we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. All right. What's going on? It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling this situation. She looks fine today. Good. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was good five minutes ago. Dolores is doing quite well. Or uh, at least you can't find anything to complain about today. Ha <laughs> ha. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Uh, supplies. I don't think people need anything at the moment. That's fine. That's good. Uh, our neighborhood is highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. All right then. Should we start preparing for an expedition tomorrow? I don't think we are going to start preparing for an expedition tomorrow. We can start to send uh, our, our family out into the world and see what they've got to offer. You know, see if we can find any soup or any bottles of water or any supplies or whatever. But I don't think we really need to do that. If our neighborhood is still highly radioactive, I don't think we really want to do that at all. So, no, we're not going to prep for an expedition tomorrow. Okay, that's good. That's definitely something we want to do when we get out of here. You want to trim the shrubbery in our yard. Lovely. Uh, priorities very straight there, folks. I mean, come on. Get it together. Get it together, folks. Get it together. All right. So let me guess. People are going to be tired and hungry. You're going to be... You're, you're thirsty. You're thirsty. You're thirsty. Everybody's thirsty because we haven't fed anybody a drink in three days. That's fine. You're very thirsty and have to drink something. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now we should get him some water. Water. All right. Everybody, congratulations. It's water time, and it's also food time. You know, I, I think you guys have survived for a good three days. I'm, I'm happy giving you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, nourishment, so to speak. Congratulations. Is uh, still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. I don't want to do that. We don't have any med kits. We don't have anything to, um, you know heal anybody if they get radiation sickness and kind of sucks if they're going to get sick for no reason. So we're not going to prep for an expedition tomorrow, I guess. We're just going to go forward. There's nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? I feel like we want to. It's day three. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. It could be bad. It could be good. I don't know. Oh... Okay. A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. Oh my god, that is amazing. That is really, really good luck. I was thinking it was going to be something terrible like lose Timmy or lose Dolores or lose Ted or something like that. But no, apparently we just get two water, which is great because it means we can survive for just that little bit longer. And we've got tons of resources now. Okay, so basically everybody is fine. Nothing interesting is happening. Nobody deserves any rations. Looks like the area is still radiated. 
I don't want to. I don't want to go out for an expedition. That's not something I really want to do. All right, what is this? Could have sworn that that huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier. And there goes another one. Oh damn, we're getting flooded. Let's grab some of our supplies before they start floating. Just the map, I guess, that we can grab. But this flood is not good. Not. Good. It could be radioactive water. Could be radioactive water, folks. This is really bad. If we're gonna get flooded. What was the flood? Before any of the streams squirting from the walls could hit our map, we tore it down. It was the only thing that did not get wet during our little flood. After the water had level of dropped, we started cleaning up. We might not finish before the next apocalypse hits. Wow, okay, okay. I don't like the sarcasm here, folks. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Timmy's on his best behavior. How long will it last? Who bloody knows? Ted is fine. Everything seems okay with Dolores. All right, everybody's great. Nobody needs nobody needs anything right now. Congratulations. Area is still irradiated. Come on, when is this irradiation going to go away? I I don't want to I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it at all. I just really do not. You'd expect a nuclear explosion to be enough to quench any petty arguments when the future is not looking too pretty and all you see is naked walls. Not much is necessary for an explosion. It happened. We started fighting like crazy. Oh no. Don't have any infighting, please no. Please. We can't afford it. We cannot afford it. You're thirsty, you're thirsty, you're thirsty. All right. We're done fighting, but for how long? Everybody needs water, basically. Let's give everybody some water. I don't think we need to give out food at this moment in time. I may be wrong, but hey-ho. The contamination in our town is still strong. Could still result in radiation sickness. All right, let's leave it a couple more days. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed to, he used to be an accountant, but how he survives now is a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a bet of two water bottles. Shall we play? Uh, are you fucking crazy? Are you fucking crazy? Two water bottles? My god. Well, we don't have any cards anyway, so that was fucking insane. We should never have taken that deal. Hey-ho. Uh, gambling is a terrible habit. We need supplies. We're not getting that. We'd sooner rob somebody. We sent that man away. Good riddance. Damn right. Get him away. Everybody's fine. There's nothing to report about Dolores. And nothing to report with Ted, which is lovely. And I don't think anybody's, uh, I don't think anybody's hungry right now. No, nobody's hungry. Nobody's thirsty. Yep, yeah, that's that's all good actually. That's all fine. Lovely. Looks like the area is still radiated. I don't want to get sick. Ted is happy to risk his life in the wastes. You know what? Let's let's prep for a trip tomorrow. I mean, we don't have tons of resources here, but we've got enough to survive for a little while. So yeah, let's prep for an expedition. Breathe calmly. One, two, three. That's better. Don't panic. We need to open the door this instant or we're all going to die. No. No. We're not opening the door right now. That is a bad, bad decision. No, people. No. Not opening the door. All right. What is this? Keeping the door closed was the right thing to do. But tensions are rising in our tiny little shelter. It's impossible. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is still in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay that way. And Ted is chill. Ted is always chill. That's good. Anybody hungry? Nobody's hungry or thirsty. Good. That's the way we like it. I mean... What do we want to do? I think we probably want to give some food and water to the person who's going out on the adventure. I think we're going to send Mary Jane out on the adventure. So congratulations, Mary Jane. You can have your soup and water. Everybody else will get their soup and water tomorrow while you're away on uh, on your on your grand day out. That's right. What do you want to take outside? You don't want to take ammo outside. You want to take, uh, you want to take a gas mask. Yeah, take a gas mask outside. I think that's a pretty good suggestion, you know? Could be some pretty bad gases outside. All right, lovely. Lovely indeed. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. I really hope she does. Uh, Timmy should eat something. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Has to be some water left. Yeah, I know. We're gonna dish up all of the, 
all of the resources that we possibly can to everybody else, make sure that everybody gets their uh, their proper amount of feeding. We can't keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting his way uh, as far. I can't even read. I can't even read today. I, ca I can't even read about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who'd have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? I know, right? Terrible communists. Terrible, terrible communists. Um, let's keep our eyes and ears open. If we had a radio, we could use it, but we don't have a radio. I was looking when we were back at uh, home for a radio, but I was a fucking idiot and uh, didn't manage to find one, which kind of kind of sucks for us, I think. There's one thing we need to do. It's use a radio, a radio on a regular basis. Any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area, it's either that or strolling around waiting to get picked up. First option sounds a bit more sane. It does indeed. All right, everybody's fine. That's good. But yeah, we really, 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 really need a radio. Really, really do. It's a good time to go out into the radioactive wastelands, but it seems this will become a necessity in this new world of ours. We thought it would be a good idea to make this happen rather than later and planned a trip outside. Before we could make the third step beyond the shelter, an unknown creature started growling in the darkness. We had only moments to decide what to do. Get the gun. Get the gun. Get the gun. Get the gun. Fuck it. Just get the gun. Bish bash bosh. What's happened? Give me a status update, guys. A quick shot with the rifle was more than enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature stalked us in the darkness. We never saw it again. Timmy seems okay. Dolores is okay. Ted is okay. Great. We're just a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two. But it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope this won't last too long. Oh no, guys, don't don't be breaking up now. Like we need we need the, the family to stay together as a team. A true team. Alright, where's the where's the Mary Jane? Water, everybody needs water. Give everybody some water then, I guess. It's been a while. We don't know what's about happening on the surface. I wish we had a radio. All right. Thank you, game, for reminding me that I needed to take a radio rather than taking my stupid Timmy. My stupid child called Timmy. All right. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clues what's going on. Timmy is fine. Everybody is fine. Great. No new supplies. When we opened the bunker door this morning, we let some fresh radioactive air. We discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was a note on it, and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look at it? Ah, it's risky. I feel like yes. Or maybe it's a bomb or something. It could be a bomb. What was it? What was in the suitcase? Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best of a good situation. Great. What would we what would we give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again? Great, I don't I don't care. What was in the suitcase? Like what did I not find out was in the suitcase? Well Oh you're back. You're back. You made it. You're star you're starving? Alright. Everybody's getting Everybody's getting some uh, some stuff. That's good. We can take care of ourselves. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Great! Um, did we get anything? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. That is awesome. This is really good. We got two bottles of water, one thing of food. That is pretty, pretty good. I don't even know what that is, but I guess it's something. All right, we need to feed everybody. We need to feed everybody. Everybody just have some food. Everybody just have some water, right? In fact, Mary Jane doesn't actually need water. I don't think. She's just, yeah, she's, I mean, technically, we don't need to give food to you or you. Yeah. All right. So everybody's getting water apart from Mary Jane and everybody's getting food apart from you two. Well, you two are getting food. All right. That's good. That's fine. Didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Yeah, here we are. Clearly hear a phone ringing on the outside. Should someone go and answer it? Honestly? Ted? You're not in a bad situation. And neither are you, uh, Dolores. Get the fuck out there, buddy. Maybe you're just going insane, though. What was... What was on the phone? When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. Started changing... 
uh, information of shorts. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they get back to us. Ooh. Mary Jane's diet could use a little bit of food. Sweet. Let's check to see how everybody's doing. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You're hungry and tired. Eh, we'll give you a little bit of food, shall we? Yeah, why not? You deserve it. You went out on an exploration for us. You got us, uh... You got us a lot of stuff. Uh, let's... Let's let's start prepping for a trip tomorrow. And I would love to have a radio, yes, but we do not have one. It seems that a radio is definitely something to get for the future. We need to think about it uh, very, very closely next time, I feel. More closely than we did this time. I say we. It's obviously just me, right? It's just me. I fucked up, all right? Mary Jane is quite hungry. Water is what Mary Jane needs most. All right, we can... All right. So what does everybody need? Hungry, hungry, hungry. Timmy's fine. All right, so you get water and food. Okay, so wait, everybody gets food apart from Timmy. And you get water as well. All right, Mary Jane, you're getting some uh, some water as well. All right, that's fine. It's about time we chose someone to scavenge the remains uh, of the wasteland. Okay, uh, I think Ted, I think you are totally fine to do that. Take an axe with you, just in case. The gas, uh, the gas mask has already been on a little exploration to the outside world, so it's uh, it's it's time for the axe. I think that that is totally reasonable. <sighs> okay, thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Okay, you and you and you. Yeah, is that right? Pretty sure that that's right. Wow, Mary Jane is looking rough. It's hard living down here. We need to make the best of it. We might find ourselves in more trouble. I know. I'm very well aware of this fact. But fingers crossed, Ted, uh, good old Ted is going to manage to bring back a radio or something so we can be in contact. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. She recovered from her adventure into the wasteland yet? No, I don't think so. I, th I think everybody's, I think everybody's, y you know, like, a 5 out of 10 in terms of happiness. Like this man knocking on the, claiming that he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Yeah? Let's see what he's got to offer. Let's see what he's got to offer. I'm hopeful, but I don't know. We could have just been scammed, right? We could have just been scammed majorly. Oh man, look, we got a radio. Of true value in return. A working radio. Oh man, that is great news. Alright, what do we need? You're tired and thirsty. Let's get you some water. There you go. Let's get get some water down you. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby. Mostly old folks from the retirement home. It shouldn't be hard to borrow some of their supplies, right? Uh, no, we're not going to do that. That is immoral. And they would probably uh, hunt or hurt us. Or maybe both. Maybe they would hunt us and then hurt us. Alright, so got a little bit of uh, some scratchy markings going on. I can click on the map in any location I want to. Who knew? Oh man, I'm so glad that we've got a radio now. You're hungry and thirsty. Oh, some tunes. So... You're thirsty and tired. Robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. Damn right we're not savages. Alright, so Dolores needs water, and I think you need both food and water. Is that the case? Yeah, that's the case. That's fine. That's good. Uh, Mary Jane, of course, being a good old trooper. Trooper that she is. Doesn't need anything. So we can just uh, go forward. Okay, good. Uh, how about that lake we've been going to for the past few years? We'd be so good to find ourselves there, far away from all this madness. I, you know, I suppose it would be. I suppose it would be. Now, is there an opportunity to listen to a uh, broadcast or something? All right. Still, it's better safe down here than dead up there. Ted has returned from his voyage to the surface. The first thing 
uh, to fall in the time of crisis is order. Yet here we are, walking to the police station, and it turned out to still be operational and staffed. We've met with a few policemen inside. They seemed capable of doing their job, though it's pretty odd the way they were talking about a new world order. The policemen were quite nervous while we were, away, while we were around. After a short chat, they gave us some food and told us to go away and never what we I would never mention what we saw to anyone. That's very suspicioso. Very suspicioso, I must add. Uh, they had plenty of water in their stash. They were acting very nervously and immediately consented to sharing uh, when we asked. Then they all started exercising. An ammunition pack was lying just outside the station. Oh my god, that is awesome. Ted looks very weak. If he doesn't eat today, he might end up really, really badly. Ted is really tired. Uh, that's not That's not good. That's not good. Ted is just hungry. Ted is the only one that needs something. Yeah, Ted is the only one that needs anything. Uh, yeah, just, just some food. Just some food. I think... We... Well, yeah, we'll prep for a trip tomorrow. Uh, Timmy can head on out there. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy looking mercenary type who was probably her guard she told us that she was a trader and eagerly showed us the items she brought along uh she brought along oh sweet okay so a map for i guess we would do that if we wanted to do anything but i guess we don't want to do anything right we don't really need anything we've got a, oh shit we've got a briefcase do we we get another map? Where's our briefcase? Yeah, I mean, fuck it, let's do this. Let's do it. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if we're gonna give the briefcase, if we have a briefcase, or if we're gonna... Okay, so we got rid of the map and we have a briefcase instead. Or suitcase, briefcase, whatever. Managed to work out a deal. And she almost, she gave us uh, some tips. Lovely, thank you. Ted's stomach is rumbling. All right. Status update, people. Hungry, hungry, thirsty. Hungry, hungry, thirsty. All right. I can just about manage to remember that. Hungry, hungry, thirsty. Sweet. Need to make a choice. Which one of us is going to go outside? It's going to be Timmy. That's right. Timmy is going to be going outside. You're going to be taking a... Yeah, we'll take a Boy Scout's handbook, since you're a Boy Scout, I guess. I mean, logic, people. Come on, let's let's get with it. Yeah, we'll give that a shot. See what happens. My god, you are looking rough. You are looking so rough. Hungry, tired, fatigued, hungry, thirsty. Everybody is dying slowly. Alright. So you need... You two need water, you need food as well, and you need food. Water, food, food, water. I think that's the right setup. Yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna, gonna go for it, gonna see if that works. I also have no idea what's in our suitcase. Oh, good, listen to the radio. Let's do it, let's listen to the radio. Fingers crossed it doesn't break down, or whatever. I don't even know if it can break down. I hope not. What is this? We knew it. The government is not following. They're trying to come and save us. They didn't give us the exact dates on the radio transmission, but I'm sure they won't be keeping us... Uh, I'm sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Oh, yeah. Ted is hungry. Is that it? Ted is... Ted is hungry. You're fatigued. All right. Ted, have some soup. I don't care about fighting. I don't want you guys to fight. Just make sure that it doesn't happen. My god. We stopped arguing, but for how long? I have I have no idea. I have no idea, but this episode has sort of gone on longer than I anticipated. I didn't not I did not expect to uh, to manage to be this successful in the very first episode, ladies and gents. We're gonna be picking this up very, very soon indeed. Fingers crossed the next episode is not ridiculously short and we die on the next day, but you know. I've, uh, I've got a little bit of hope. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over Potato, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.